Hi guys, you're welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to be learning how to make some juicy grilled chicken. You know the type that will just melt in your mouth. Ah! <laughs> We are going to be learning how to make that from the scratch today and as usual the full list of the ingredients will be in the description box so just make sure you check it. So you're going to get your chicken, I'm using about 4 chicken laps, this is about 1 kg, 1 kilo of chicken, you can use more, you can use less and I'm going to be showing you what we are going to be using for the marinade. First one is this scotch bonnet pepper, atarodo, also known, also known as atarodo in Yoruba. We are going to roughly chop this pepper because we want this, we want our chicken to be as tasty, to be as you know sweet as possible. And of course, for that peppery feel that we all love. Now we're going to set this aside, and we're going to start the marinade by adding some salt, my chicken, right before we add the other marinade. I'm using some dry spices here. I have here thyme, I have curry, I have white and black black pepper. I have here some, you know, some soya pepper. I have some seasoning powder. Just combine whatever spices that you like. Just bring together all of it, and then add to your chicken we're going to use use the dry spices for the marinade apart from that we're also going to be using a combination of ginger and garlic this is a combination of ginger and garlic paste right so just blend that as well so we're going to start by rubbing the salt all over the chicken before we add the marinade this is to ensure that you know the, the chicken is very tasty not the type that you will eat and then the inside is you know just really really bland so we want the marinade to not just be outside the chicken but also inside the chicken <music> As you can see we are just adding all of our marinade and to bind all of the ingredients together we are going to be sprinkling some oil some vegetable oil is okay and we're going to combine this together thoroughly we're going to make sure that every part of the chicken is is well marinated so guys i'm sure some of you might be wondering that the spices why need to make incision of on the chicken how will the spices how will the marinade enter into the chicken if you don't make incisions on it well you can make incisions on your own chicken when you're making um, this recipe but to me i really didn't feel like making incision on it because i'm going to be marinating this for a long time so if you are if you have a short time for to marinate your chicken you can make incisions on it but if you're going to marinate it for a long time at least overnight there's really no need for you to make incisions on it but just do whatever it is that you want to do now our chicken is ready we are going to just cover this up with a cling film and we're going to set this aside um for at least three to six hours or even overnight i left mine overnight in the fridge okay so now our chicken is ready to enter into the oven <laughs> You guys, I want to ask you a question. Chicken or turkey? I'm back to this question, right? Chicken or turkey? Let's just settle this right now. Which one do you prefer? Is it chicken or you prefer turkey? <laughs> so just drop your comment. Just drop your answer rather in the comment section. Okay? So now our chicken is ready to, you know, the, to enter the oven. You guys, feel free to ask me any questions. If there's anything that you think you want me to explain to you about, just drop your question in the comment section, okay? And I'll be waiting to answer them. So I've been baking this chicken for about, let's say 30 minutes. And now the chicken has released some juices. And right now I am just literally just pouring back the juices on top of the chicken. <music> So yeah, 20 minutes later, our chicken, our grilled chicken, our oven grilled chicken, juicy grilled chicken is ready to eat. You guys, you are going to love this recipe. So just try this. So this is how to make a well marinated oven grilled chicken that will literally melt in your mouth. You can serve this with anything, with jollof rice, with fried rice, with any type of dish that you have. Alright, thank you so much guys for watching. Bye guys! Mwah.